What is going on everybody and welcome. This is One Actual and welcome to the visual guide for Eden's Gate Inundation. I'm here to give you a clear, quick, and concise guide on how to complete it. If this video helps you out, please don't forget to drop a like and of course subscribe for more Final Fantasy XIV guides and videos. Make sure you brought your floaties because damn bruh, Leviathan been in the gym. My favorite fight so far of the series. Let's dive straight into the mechanics. Tidal Roar is an unavoidable room-wide AoE to be healed through. Rip Current will target the main tank with a tank buster in his direction. Make sure you move out of the way to avoid cleaving your teammates. Temporary Current will give you Shinryu vibes. Avoid the giant AoE going through the map by finding the sweet spots in the corners. Drenching Pulse will drop AoEs on top of your locations. Quickly move out and prepare for another AoE that you will need to spread away from your teammates. Speaking of Shinryu, Tidal Wave is a similar mechanic as well. Stand as close to the wave as possible or suffer an untimely and embarrassing defeat. Tsunami is a hard-hitting, unavoidable AoE that puts you in a tsunami with the tsunami of mechanics with only ground indicators, so pay attention. First will be a knockback mechanic that will target a player. Center yourself in the middle and plant your feet your teammates can move close to you for safety with space to not get knocked off. Another player will get targeted with Smothering Tsunami, a stack mechanic directly after, so be ready to quickly run back and stack. Then one player will get targeted with a familiar donut AoE, so adjust yourself accordingly, while four players will also get targeted with target AoEs that they will need to spread out for. There will be another knockback mechanic right after, so be ready. Maelstrom will have Leviathan place water puddles on the ground. Your first reaction will be to stand on each, but don't. These will spawn into bigger puddles that will give the Dropsy debuff and Leviathan will shoot through the map like the second boss of the Gimlet Dark. That will either kill you or provide a vulnerability up debuff. Undersea Quake is a big one to look out for as it will kill you if you aren't paying attention. If you see Leviathan's heads directly in front of you for this cast, move to the outsides. If they're on the outsides, stay in the middle as the cast indicator will be super fast with not enough time to react, destroying that space on the platform and dropping you out of bounds. The platform will be fixed over time. At this point, you've seen everything you need to know. You will have to do all these mechanics no matter what the size and shape of the platform is. It can get compact, but there's always a way. Just don't get knocked off and everything should be okay. Great healers can keep this fight going. This fight is a very fun dance, so enjoy it. And that's all she wrote. Thank you so much for watching my guide on Eden's Gate Inundation, and congratulations in advance on your clear. My hopes are that this guide helped you out. If it did, please don't forget to drop a like, and of course subscribe for more Final Fantasy XIV guides and videos. How's your experience? Let it be known down in the comment section below, along with any tips you have for the newcomers. As always, it has been a pleasure, and I hope to see you in the next one.